are the key items. It's the National Exchange Club to celebrate our 75th anniversary in Detroit, which is the largest national uh, organization in existence. Certainly, it would be a supportive that we've had in the past with aviation and fire prevention. Although we're a small organization, we're strictly American, we certainly would find a warm spot in our hearts. And personally, in Vero Beach, Florida, if you would issue an executive order to get the Dodgers out of last place, I would appreciate it. <laughs> 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 you might have to bring a good friend of yours, Elvin Hawker, that said to say hello to <laughs> You know, I was, a, I was a sports announcer, he was there years ago, and I've just been thinking since. And, Instead of imposing on the athletes and ordering or something and getting their backs up, when I was broadcasting major league sports, you couldn't get a professional athlete to sign, do an endorsement for cigarettes or the beer. They recognized that they were a role model to kids and they wouldn't have any, any part of doing even that much. And now today, to find that it's a problem among them, a this much more serious thing. I think if they're properly appealed to, that they can suddenly start carrying them all for us. Mr. President, by coincidence, Sertoma International opens its international convention here this evening, and we will certainly deliver your message. Take part in your That's program. great. Well, thank you. On behalf of the JCs and Allstate Insurance Company, I'm going to take this uh, opportunity to congratulate you on being recognized as one of the ten healthy American fitness leaders. Senator Luger, as you know, has <laughs> nominated you, and uh, that's quite an honor. Thank you. I've tried to explain that when people, I guess, self-conscious when they come up and say, well, why don't you look as if there's a great strain and that you're bowed down under it and everything. I tell them the story about the two psychiatrists. One was a dapper old fellow with spats, cane, gloves, Hamburg hat. The young, other one young and eager, and they go up in the same elevator to their offices. At the end of the day, the young fellow's collar's open, he's sweating, his hair's must. The old boy's just as dapper as ever. Finally, one day, the kid couldn't stand it, and he says, how do you listen to him all day and look like that? The old boy says, who listens? Well, this is a little awkward here, because when we walk out on the colonnade, you need to be on my left. I need to be on your left.
injury for
think maybe we should have one of these or one of these be separate. Yeah, we'll, uh, uh, together, and, uh, we'll run together. Then we ought to have a couple of family pictures here. Uh -huh. Is it working? Yeah, I've been on it <laughs> for 30 months for me. And all the time, Regan was the guy that got me going on that, maybe. And I said, But the thing is, instead of the fruit, then backing up behind that other fruit, that fruit, you, uh, you do have a satisfactory uh, several minutes alone in the chamber. Quite <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, early. You try to do that, but I get tired. The problem. Well, listen, let us. Uh, then we'll have some news for you, I think, but uh, first of all, thanks for what you're doing and support of this. I appreciate it very much, and uh, let's hear from you. You're a good book. Well, we have a... Uh